the minute I open my mouth and they say, oh, you're Irish. <sighs> Suddenly I'm labelled. I wasn't a human being. In Ireland, I was just a, a low-class type. But here I'm a low-class Irish type, an Irish low-class type. So I didn't know, I had no, I, somehow I had to deal with it. Oh, you're Irish. And at that time, that was 1949, there was still some kind of a lingering residue of prejudice against the Irish. People used to tell me, all the people that up and down New England and in New York, there would be signs saying no Irish need apply. And even the Irish Americans would, would t listen to me and they, they patronized me. I was a bit simple as if I had just come off a farm. And I knew better than that. I knew I was better than that. The people who, Irish Americans who were running elevators and, and, and working as porters, they were looking down at me. And I knew then that I was, again, at the bottom of the heap.